Today we are once again in Forest Lawn Cemetery in Norfolk, Virginia, visiting the grave of NASCAR driver Joe Weatherly. And in researching Joe, I can tell you this, it is very well apparent that he is known for his sense of humor. He was actually on his stone there. You can see that he was called the Clown Prince of Racing. And in reading some of the shenanigans, I guess, I, I did read one that said that he uh, he took some practice laps wearing a Peter Pan costume. So Mr. Weatherly was uh, definitely known for his sense of humor. And uh, from what I gather was a crowd favorite. He actually has won there. He had won the... Uh, the championship for a couple of years there in a row and was actually the reigning champion when that fateful day occurred in Riverside, California uh, at the Riverside Speedway. If you look at the grave and the, uh, the marker there, that marker is actually the shape of the Riverside Speedway where he was actually killed in a crash. And if you can see there, there's a little checkered flag and that actually marks the spot on the track where Joe Weatherly died. In researching this at the time, uh, the safety precautions were not so good and uh, there was no head or neck restraints and no window net and he crashed and when he crashed, his head actually went out the window, struck the, uh, the concrete barrier and he died. And unfortunately his death did lead help contribute I should say to many new safety features and innovations including the net over the window that would protect this from happening and you can see his grave does definitely allude to him being a champion a race car driver and he is remembered as such but that horrific crash definitely like I said led to changes and and unfortunately that is just what he's known for now is that horrific crash in which his head actually went through that that window but and i know this is just a uh, a, a terrible topic but i did want to stop and pay respects to joe weatherly here today and the stories that i have read everything about him again just a almost one of those character figures uh larger than life uh had that uh, just that persona that people just like to be around him he was a crowd favorite a fan favorite and you know really it's no wonder and in later years, uh, I did read this, he was one of only two reigning NASCAR champions to actually pass away. The other occurred in the early 90s, Alan Kowicki, when he lost his life. Uh, he was the reigning champion at the time, but I do want, again, I, I do want you to take note of the stone here. And you can see the outline of that stone is actually the outline of the racetrack in which he got killed, which is which is just a terrible tragedy. and. I don't know the thinking behind that, but you know, he was a race car driver and you know, I've heard people in other sports who say they just want to leave everything on the field or on the court or on the track. And uh, unfortunately he did. He, he went out doing what he loved to do, albeit a very tragic. And I think probably the most tragic, tragic part of this is that this was definitely preventable with some some safety precautions that had yet to be developed. So just a tragic story of Mr. Joe Weatherly. He was also known as Little Joe, but just a uh, you know fairly young. He was in his 40s when he passed away, but it is an honor for me to be able to visit the grave of Joe Weatherly here today. Just an absolute legend in the uh, NASCAR field, NASCAR community, and motor racing itself. I'm going to leave links in the description where you can find me. My future journeys, uh, I do all cemetery tours, famous grave tours. My channel is 100% cemetery related. So I'm going to leave links in the description where you can find me. Very interactive on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook and on Instagram, uh, my merchandise as well. But once again, just here today, Joe Weatherly, the clown prince of racing, 1922 to 1964. Thank you again for watching. Uh, leave me a comment. I would love to know if you've ever heard of Mr. Weatherly before. I would love to uh, hear any stories that you may have. I mean, maybe there's people out there who still have memories of him uh, from a personal level. Maybe you knew him in real life. I would love to hear from you once again from Forest Lawn Cemetery in Norfolk, Virginia. I will see you again soon. Music